hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be drafting out our princess that we are going to be drafting it direct on our fabric so we are going to be including all the necessary allowance for this particular tutorial so as usual we always work with our tape our chalk our rulers and our scissors for this tutorial so we'll go ahead and fold this fabric into two so that we can cut out what we'll be working with that is we are going to be cutting out the required amount of fabric that we are going to be working with you know we cannot make use of all these materials so i'll go ahead and fold it into two and take our measurements of the quantity of fabric that we'll be working with so if it's your first time coming across my video you are very much welcome and please do wait to subscribe to my youtube channel and to my returning subscribers thank you for always watching my videos so the half length i'm working with for this particular dress is 17 inches but what i'll be marking for this one will be 18 and a half then the working space i'll go ahead and divide my ball second frames into two and i'll put it there and i'll add eight inches allowance i'll be adding eight inches because after cutting out this fabric we'll still go ahead to fold it into two to start our drafting process so I'm just taking exactly the same measurements right now. So I'll go ahead and rule it out with my ruler. So I'll go ahead and rule it out with my ruler. So once I'm done doing that, I will now go ahead and cut it out. So we are still trying to get the amount of quantity of fabric that we are going to be using for this particular tutorial. For this particular print sense that because we are cutting it direct on our fabric we are not using any pattern paper so all the adjustments all the necessary allowances we are going to be adding them to this particular fabric so guys i'm done cutting it so as you can see i'll just go ahead and fold it because it's still going fold now we'll go ahead and separate it like this i'll just go ahead and separate this because i'll be separating it to get the back and the front pattern so one will serve for the front and one is going to serve for the back so please guys try to watch this particular tutorial to the end so that you can catch up with everything we are doing please just try as much as you can to watch this particular video to the end don't fast forward much and please please do just watch the video to the end so you can understand everything i'll be doing so we'll go ahead and drop one of this fabric i'll be working with just one of the remaining parts so as you can see we'll go ahead and fold it into two like so because we'll be cutting this on fold we'll be cutting this on fold so we'll be using this for our front pattern So I'm done with every other thing. I've just gone ahead and fold my fabric. So now we're going ahead to start inserting our measurements. So I'll be, we'll just go ahead and insert our measurements. So I'll be starting with the shoulder. The shoulder of this person is 17. 17 divided by two be giving us eight and a half inches. So I went ahead to add an extra half inches for the joining allowance at the shoulder. So it now give us nine inches. So we are marking our nine inches there. So the neckline we'll be using for this will be three inches. So we're using three inches. If you want, you can make it more wider. If you want, you can put four, you can make it five, but I choose three. So we'll be going down by one and inch for our shoulder slope. As you can see, just go ahead and connect it like so. So once you are you are done doing that so we'll go ahead to add our ease like our shoulder allowance because this is a princess that you don't want a situation after joining this particular cloth your your nipple point to be so up so we'll go ahead to add half inch for this shoulder allowance so you do that before you start taking your measurement so that's what we are doing so we'll go ahead and connect that line as well as you can see now we have two lines at that shoulder we have the ease and the normal shoulders um shoulder slanting that we did 
so from this new line we are going to start inserting our vertical measurement our horizontal measurement i mean to say i'm working with an armhole of an eight inches for this person you can just go ahead and divide your ball circumference by six plus one and a half inch but for this particular um, bustier i'm working with eight inches for the armhole so I'll now go ahead and connect the line like so so i'll go ahead to still measure that same nine inches i took at the shoulder so that i can connect the two shoulders together as you can see that is just what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and connect the two shoulders together So once I was done doing that, we'll go ahead to take our neck depth. That is our neck depth. So I, I, I took 5 inches because I don't want it to be a high neck. So I want it down. I didn't want it to be normal 3. I want it somehow kenu neck. So I took 5 inches for the neck depth. As you can see, I just repeated what I did initially so that you can see what I did. So I'll now be using our cuff to, to carve it out so you can see what I'm doing. So just go ahead and take our neck depth once i was done and see once i'm done with this neck depth i'll go ahead to take the midpoint of our armhole i'll go ahead and measure our armhole and get the midpoint so as you can see i'll just insert my ball circumference measurement there i want to draft our armhole my boss is 38 38 divided by four will give me nine 9.5 inches so i went ahead to measure this to get our midpoint of the armhole and from that midpoint i went in by half an inch you can see what i'm doing i just went in by half an inch from the center of this armhole so I'll now go ahead and connect it together I'll just go ahead and connect it together Now I'll take my straight ruler and connect it to the shoulder back. So this now is our new armhole for the front. This is the new armhole for the front as you can see. So once I was done taking our armhole, so I'll go ahead to start inserting the remaining measurements. I'll go ahead and insert our nipple point. The nipple point for this particular bustier is 10 inches. As you can see, I'll just go ahead and put my tape like so. Mark 10 inches down. Make sure that your 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 tape starts from that place that you mark your your shoulder allowance. So now I'll go ahead and mark my underboss of 13 inches as well. Now the full length of this particular top is 17 inches. That is the half length of this dress I'm working with is 17 inches. So once I was done doing that, I'll take my ruler and rule it out. So I'll take my ruler and rule it out like so, as you can see. So now once I was done ruling this out, I'll go ahead to insert my nipple point. That is my nipple to nipple. The, my nipple to nipple is 7 inches. If you divide a nipple to nipple by 2, you'll be getting 3 and a half. So I went ahead to add half inch on that 3 and a half making it eight so i added the east allowance there making it eight so at the underboss i'll be minusing half an inch from that four at the underboss part i'll be marking three and a half no more four inches remember the boss point i marked four inches because i added half inch allowance but at the underboss at, at the full length the half length of this top i minus half an inch making it three and a half so I'll now go ahead and connect these together. I'll just connect the line like so. So at this underboss part, I will go ahead to take out, I'll be going out by 2 inches. Well, this depends on the size of the boss. If you are working with a plus boss size, I advise you to take 2.5 inches. But this one is just a medium boss size, so I'm taking 2 inches from there. And I'll go ahead and also connect the two lines, the underboss to the full length of this particular dress. 
so now is to curve our bustier the bust point so from that bust point i usually come down by half an inch or one an inch but for this case i'll be coming down by half an inch no for this case i'll be coming down by 0 0.75 inch as you can see it was not up to one an inch it was it was 0 0.75 inch so i'll just go ahead and connect it initially i try using my curve ruler but it wasn't giving me what I want, so I decided to use my hand and connect it. At this point, guys, you guys can see that our boss, that is the shape of the breast, is already coming out already. If you can really see my chalk, you will know that the shape of the breast is, is giving and it's already forming the, the breast shape. So I'll go ahead and measure our armhole. So what I got was 9 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 4.5 inches. You can see, just go ahead and mark it. So I'll still go ahead and connect that line. I'll just go ahead and use my free hand to connect it like so to that point that I mark, the center of the armhole. So guys, you can see the boss is already there, like the shape of the breast is already there. See how it's just coming out so beautiful. So at this point now, I'll be taking out one and a half inch. But in this case, I'll be sharing that one and a half inch to the both sides of this, of this dart. So I'll be taking out 0 0.75 down and also be taking 0 0.75 up, as you can see. As some cases, some people may decide to just take out one an inch, but for me, I decide to take out one one point five inches because I wanted the breast. There's this shape I was looking for, and I really got what I was looking for. So I'm just going ahead to confirm what I did, so that I can be able to draw it out and connect it to the to the boy's point like so. I'll just use my ruler and connect it. So this that part will be cut out from this dress. So once I was done ruling this, I will still go ahead to replace back that one and a half inch that I took out. So I'll go ahead and replace it there. So that when after joining our bust there, yeah, it will not be looking short. So I went ahead and replaced the one and a half inch. I join it together at the armhole area. I also go ahead and replace that one and a half inch as well. So now go ahead and form our new armhole. So now this is our new armhole line, as you can see. Once I'm done with this, the next thing to do now is to go ahead and start inserting our measurements on this particular dress. I'll just go ahead i will divide my balls divided by two i've marked that already plus the one and a half inch that i took out um then i added two inches for ease allowance i added two inches for allowance for ease so at the under balls i'll go ahead and divide my under balls by four also go ahead and insert it there like so I'll be replacing that two inches I took out from this under ball. So you go ahead and replace it. So I replace the two inches plus extra two inches is allowance. So I mark four inches there. So we are going to repeat the same thing at the full length. That is the half length of this dress. You go ahead, divide your waist by four. You replace the two inches and add your is allowance. So that is all for this particular part right now just go ahead and connect everything like so as you can see this is looking so so beautiful i hope you are getting what we are doing please you can also leave a comment at the comment section and please if you try out this pattern and it's worked out for you you can as well share this video to others so that they can see this video and also learn because i know that this particular tutorial I did now is beginning friendly. Someone, some, someone that that is not that conversant with um, princess that can watch the after watching this can easily make out 
time can easily make this particular princess that and please be careful while cutting as you can see what i'm doing just follow how i'm cutting just be very very careful so that you will not cut on the wrong line so see what i'm doing i'm following my lines okay so at that shoulder part i'll not be cutting the down line i'll be cutting the first line i gave that means i'll still be leaving the east allowance there so the underboss i'm doing the same thing i'm just following my line be careful while cutting so you will not cut the wrong place you can also go ahead and pin down your fabric with your pin if it's available make sure that you cut everything as you see so also go ahead and cut out this part so once i was done cutting all this i'll go ahead to cut our neckline so i'll go ahead to cut our neck guys this is giving seriously this princess that is i don't know if i should say it's already coming out perfectly or but seriously it's giving and please if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up please do that please give this video a thumbs up so i'll just go ahead and notch the the underboss of this particular dress so that while joining it it will not be that difficult for me so i just went ahead and notched the underboss so this is all for this we are we'll go ahead to work on our back pattern so i've gone ahead to draw all the lines our zipper allowance our boss line our shoulder and also our shoulder is our shoulder allowance so we'll go ahead to draw our neckline for the back we are going to be using high neckline you can make your back v you can make your back any shape you want so just go ahead and use high neck we'll just go ahead and use two inches one and a half inch if you check very well from the east allowance so from there we'll now get our midpoint of the um who just like we are just repeating almost the same thing we did at the back with little adjustment so go ahead and insert our boss measurement in this particular case at the back arm hole you will not be going in by half an inch but rather from that point you will just go ahead and draw your arm hole like so as you can see so we'll go ahead and take our nipple point measurement this particular process i'm doing right now is optional you can just have a normal dart there or you can still do the same one i'm doing so i wanted it to have a princess dart at the back so i just went ahead to join the lines so what i did so i also go ahead i supposed to join these to that midpoint but after checking it it wasn't giving me the shape i want so at that point i went all by one and inch so from there now we'll go ahead and join this to the shoulder line so i think i like this shape just do whatever you want if you want if you like the first shape it was giving you fine so from there i went out by one and inch and join it so that after cutting this when you are joining the two piece together at times you find that that is short but at this case when you come out by one and inch and join it back to the armhole you find that that both of them will be equal so now go ahead and insert our measurements inside the boss measurement plus two inches is allowance we also do the same thing at the under boss we'll take our under boss measurements we'll go ahead to insert our two inches allowance At the half length of the dress as well we'll do the same our two inches allowance 
so guys this is all for this particular back pattern of this dress it's very simple as i say initially you can go ahead and put a normal dart but i wanted this to have a princess dart so at this zipper part we'll go ahead and come in by half an inch because at times this is our zip after we put our zip we found out that the back will be puffy so we took we took one and a half inch for the zip later on at the waist part i went in by half an inch i'll just connect that up straight and cut it out so i remove half an inch from the zip allowance from the waist part to avoid it being so bulky so we'll now go ahead and start cutting So as you can see we are just cutting out on the lines that we made so at that zipper part we'll also be cutting out the half inch that we took out from the waist that is from the half length part yeah i just wanted the shape to just come out where so that is why i'm just removing a little thing from there so guys this is all for this particular tutorial so we'll go ahead and start i'll bring all the pieces together so you can see how beautiful they look this is the back pattern it's looking so so beautiful let me go ahead and put the front as well so that you can see how it looks before we do the necessary adjustments we are going to be doing because sometimes we'll find out that after joining our front and joining our back, we found out that the back will be longer than the front. So we are going to be doing some little adjustments on this. That is why I said initially that you should watch this video to the end so that you will get all the tips, all the necessary tips that you need to get about Princess um, Bostia. So guys, at this point, we'll go ahead and set the front pattern aside so that we can do the necessary adjustments at the back so that when we join the two, the two will be rhymed. The back won't be longer than the front and the front will be looking so short. So at this point now, you just go ahead and remove that one inch allowance. Just go ahead and remove the one inch allowance it will not affect the measurement of the clothes or anything but rather it will make the back and the front to rhyme together so after you join it the back and the front piece will will be equal because you know after you have added your your uh, your 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 padding that is your breast part to your front and all the other necessary things you find out that the front will become very short while the back will be long so that is all for the back so at the front also we'll be doing a little adjustment because sometimes after joining the front we find out that the sides the sides of the of the of the front part will be looking somehow so to correct that right now we are going to be doing it we are going to be doing that so that after joining the two fronts it will just be looking so straight and looking perfect so we'll just get the sides part of this particular bust here so we'll go ahead to remove something i usually take out 0 0.75 inch from it instead of having one inch allowance there i'll be left with just three inch allowance because i'll be take i'll be left with 0 0.3 inch because i'll be taking out 0 0.75 inch so now go ahead and connect that to that center part. 
Just see what I'm doing. Just go ahead and connect it with your ruler and cut it out. So I took a 0.75 from there. So now go ahead and cut it out like so. So guys, this is all for the adjustment part. So once you are done with this adjustment, you'll find out that when you join your bustier, it will come out perfect. The front will be looking very nice. The back as well will be looking equal to the front. You will not find out that the back or the front is short. So guys, thank you once again for watching my video. And please do wait to subscribe to my channel. And if you found this very helpful, please, please, please hit the notification bell so that you get notified. And also, you can leave me a comment at the comment section if you really want to see how I join this poster together. If you really want me to do the joining, the padding together, please just leave a comment at the comment section. And thank you and remain blessed.